All right, I'm out here changing clutch pedals. That's the original ones out of it. <clears throat> that was the mechanical rod type. Those two are hydraulic clutch type. Or non hydro boost. That's a hydro boost setup. That's a hydro boost setup. One way you can tell is the spring here. Which helps pull the pedal back. And this one was missing, so it's coming off that set and going on this set. That's the set that's going in the truck. Also changed the clutch pedal. Is the bushings were wore and that one I took the pedal out of this one you can see that it rocks back and forth now that one's nice and tight once I get that all ready to go that's where the clutch master cylinder bolts to. I have to poke some holes in the firewall. There's the steering column. See it's gone. But somewhere along the firewall in here there have to be a couple holes poked in it. I think it's where those dots are. Not that far yet. These wires might have to be moved. All that good stuff. This is the Hydra Boost. Just going bye bye. I got a different one. Master cylinder stand. These new lines. Just don't need to buy. And that's about it for now. Another way you can tell the difference between a hydro boost and a non hydro boost brake pedal assembly, clutch pedal assembly, is they are missing the studs at the top because the studs are on the hydro boost itself. See, that one's missing the studs, that one's got the studs, that one's got the studs. All four studs. You only got two. I got the pedals in. They're mounted in there for the moment. I still need to put the hole in the firewall for the clutch master cylinder. And I got that figured out. Luckily, there is a truck here that had had a hydraulic clutch set up in it's automatic now. But I went out to it and made a little pattern off the firewall. So I can mark this one and put it exactly where it needs to be. That goes down in there. Lines up at the hole. Of course, I made the. Had a slot there where that screw goes. I need to rip that back open. Okay, I got that spot ripped. Let me set her down in there. basically where it goes pretty darn close to where it should be 
At least I know where it's supposed to go. Instead of guessing, because I thought maybe it went down there before. But that's not the right spot. It was higher. I did make a pattern for the inside. At least I tried it in, or made it in here. But the other truck, I could not get that in there. There's too much junk under there. And of course, steering column and all the wires and everything in there just can't do it. That's one on the outside should work. I'll get that done here real shortly. Yeah, I got the clutch master cylinder. Finished, but I'm gonna buy a new one. But there's the hole, and the studs poking through. That should get the job done. But my little pattern worked pretty good. Other than that. Finish it in here. Tighten those bars down. Down up there. And put my new hydro boost in. My new used hydro boost that I hope doesn't leak. And painting the hydro boost. Hopefully the one doesn't leak. Well, it was kind of greasy and grungy, so I thought it washed off. And apparently, it's been painted twice before, and it took it off like paint remover. So. That looks decent now. Hopefully, I can get this painted before it's dark and get it on. So, that'll do it.